This is me gaming on a $300 computer. I suck, but thankfully the computer does not. It has four cores, a modern video card, and it can be upgraded to a Ryzen 9 CPU in the future. I asked myself the question, is it possible to build a modern and affordable gaming computer that you guys can build as well? It took some research, but I can confidently say, yes, it is. But before we get into that, I wanna thank the sponsor of this video, Jawa. Jawa is a PC hardware marketplace that's designed to fight scalping. So they have really good prices in all their PC hardware and all of their computer builds. And with their help, we're able to actually give away this PC to one of you guys. More on that at the end of the video. But for now, let's talk about this $300 computer. Historically, if you wanna build a PC for 300 bucks or less, you would get an old office PC, slap a video card in it, and call it a day. Now, I still recommend this as a solid stopgap solution for new builders who are on a tight budget, but it has one major downside, the upgrade path. The fastest processor one of these Office PC supports is probably a low end to mid range processor on a Ryzen platform or a modern Intel platform. It still performs well, but it's starting to show its age. The Office PC solution also has what I call limiters where they don't directly affect performance but they will definitely affect what you can do with the pc in the future your oem motherboard your oem case with probably less than stellar airflow your low wattage power supply so what i want to do is use that 300 dollars budget and build a modern computer with a brighter future you know give it an opportunity for college med school start a family this is an awful analogy slash joke. So Ozzy, what are our options? Well, I got to research. Before the global hardware shortage, APUs and Ryzen 3 processors were a great option for this type of budget. That's not really the case anymore. Athlon 3000G, Whack. Ryzen 3 1200, Whack. Ryzen 2200G and 3200G, now, I really thought that this project was done for until I came across this $25 shimmering light of hope, the Athlon X4 950. It's four cores and four threads with a 3.8 gigahertz boost, and it was actually AMD's response to Intel's beloved Pentiums from like 2017. Honestly, I think a lot of people just forgot that this processor existed because AMD has dropped a lot of budget options since this launched four years ago. But because of current pricing and hardware shortages, it's a great option because it gets you on the AM4 platform for only $40 with a CPU cooler. Okay, Ozzy, but what's the catch? Okay, yeah, there are a few downsides to this processor. Firstly, it's only guaranteed to work on 300 chipset motherboards, so A320, B350, and X370. And although there is some support for B450 and X470 motherboards, it's not guaranteed because newer BIOS revisions just don't support it. And lastly, it only supports up to 2400 megahertz RAM. Yeah, it sucks, but this is still miles ahead of the OEM motherboards that you would find in office computers. All right, so obviously we're building this entire computer around the $25 Athlon CPU, but what about the rest of our components? So I picked up a Wraith cooler for $17.5 off eBay, and this one actually comes with the taller heatsink and a copper slug, which is really nice. You can probably get it for around the same price right now. The motherboard I found is the Asus Prime A320MK for $40 shipped on Amazon. I actually got a discount into like $27, but I doubt you'll be able to find a deal like that anytime soon. Now these motherboards usually range from 40 to about $55, so expect to spend about that much money. I snagged 16 gigs of DDR4 memory for about $50 shipped on Amazon. I was debating between 16 and eight, but 16 is so cheap nowadays, it's like $50 shipped for a pretty solid kit. So I recommend going with that. For storage, I picked up a really cheap SATA 2.5 inch SSD, 240 gig. It was enough for two large games and then a handful of smaller games. It's only $27 shipped and you can always add more storage later. And always as a rule of thumb, please do not buy used storage. 
please. Power supply I picked up is the EVGA 450BR for $30 shipped on Amazon. I think it's going for like $25 or $26 right now. Good model, great for a low end build, and you can probably support up to like a 200 watt TDP card in the future, assuming the rest of your components aren't super power hungry. And then I combine it with one of my favorite cases right now, the ES Gaming Q06 for $40 shipped on Newegg. This case is awesome, tempered glass, four pre-installed RGB fans, power supply basement, and has a perforated front panel so you get pretty decent airflow. Honestly, kind of spectacular that they're selling it for as cheap as they are. So get it while you can. And lastly, the point of contention for a lot of these budget videos, the video card. The video card I got was an RX 462 gig for $79. It was one of those HP OEM models that perform just like a regular 460, but they just look ugly and their cooling isn't the best. And if you can still get it for about a hundred bucks, that's what I recommend. Now, here is a way for you guys to get a good video card for a good price. There are four simple things that you need to check. Make sure it performs similarly to a 750 Ti. Make sure it's from 2013 or later. Ensure that it has a TDP of 200 watts or less specifically for this computer and make sure it's no more than $100 used. So the easiest way to do this is to go to the 750Ti's tech power up page and then scroll down to relative performance. If it fits these parameters, 2013 or newer, 200 watt TDP or less, then go to eBay and check and see if it's around $100 or less. If it is, then you found yourself a good card for this build. So recommendations that I've seen over the last few weeks that work well, GTX 660 or 660 Ti, GTX 760s, GTX 950s, RX 460s, R9 270s, and 270Xs, R7 370s. These are all cards that will probably get you okay enough performance for 1080p. And that's about it. You just wait for your parts to arrive and then you can start building. I actually already have all of mine here. So let's go do that. Did the world wake up on the so I built the computer on Twitch last week and it was a ton of fun. Ha <laughs> ha let's go. Now one thing I'm trying to do is make all of my computers more aesthetically pleasing. And Jawa helped sponsor this build and all the extra goodies to make that possible. With some spray paint, some vinyl wrap, some acrylic, we were able to get the computer to look pretty good. And that's a wonderful thing, especially since this computer is going to be going in the hands of one of you guys. And as SpongeBob says, you can't have dirty garbage. I only watch it for the weather. And at least that's all for some. Don't tell me this goes on forever. The weather ain't for everyone. And now the moment of truth. Gaming. All these guys Are you going all the way over there? No. no, I'm about to die. Don't die. Come on. Sick. Let's go. Oh, scared me. Good lord. Oh, oh dang. Headshot like completely destroys him. Which makes sense. <laughs> I don't know why I'm so surprised, but oh, whoa. Like, what is what is this? All of that, and I still couldn't get a headshot. Let's go, let's go. Great ult, phenomenal ult. Oh no, we gotta go. <laughs> we gotta go. Oh, she got lucky. There we go, let's go. Wasted my ult, but I still got the kill. I, I feel this isn't too bad, in it around 60. Probably gonna dip a little bit, but that's like definitely that's fine for Civ, a turn based ish game. Totally okay. Even hitting up to 100, you love to see it. Absolutely love the music in this. Okay, so we got like that's about a little bit over 60 FPS. Don't ask me how I know that. I've done this way too many times, <laughs> the division in my head. Well, I hope you guys found this video useful and entertaining. So with only a budget of $300, you can build yourself a solid 1080p entry-level gaming computer with amazing potential, just a great upgrade path. 
there are alternatives to this method, like always. Option A, you can simply just save up. For another $200, you can build yourself a Ryzen 5 5600G computer. And I actually recommend, I recommend, and I actually recommend that if you can afford it. Option B, you can actually save some money and then go with the Office PC route. There are downfalls, like I've already mentioned in this video, but it's still a solid choice if you're on a really tight budget and you just want to try out PC gaming. You have option C, which don't kill me for this one, but you can just buy a console. An Xbox One S is $300 MSRP. It's a phenomenal option if you just want to play games and you don't need all the functionality a PC has. And lastly, you have option D, which is using a game streaming service like GeForce Now. It's an affordable option that will hold you over for at least another year while prices stabilize and inventory starts to pick back up. You do have to have a good internet connection though, so keep that in mind. I will dive into option A and option D in later videos, so make sure you're subscribed, you have the bell notification, all of that stuff, so you don't miss out on that. And finally, I'm giving away this PC with the help of my friends at Jawa. Jawa is a new anti-scalping marketplace to buy and sell PC hardware and builds, and was founded by people who were frustrated with scammers and scalping that's been going on recently. The team actually vets all of their sellers, so all the prices listed on the site are fair. They're also very connected with the community, always answering questions on Discord, always doing giveaways and a ton of other events. And right now is actually the best time to start selling on Jawa because they're not going to charge any seller fees during their beta. And I actually listed my previous $400 gaming PC build on Jawa and it sold within a few days. It was awesome. Very painless and seamless process. To enter the giveaway, all you have to do is make an account on Jawa and that's literally it. <laughs> there are extra entries. If you join the Java Discord, follow them on Instagram, and then also follow me on Instagram. And within a few weeks, we'll choose a winner and I'll send out the PC. And that's about it. More details will be in the description below. You can click whatever links necessary there. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you liked it, then leave a like. If you loved it, share, subscribe. Let me know what other recommendations you would have for a cheap budget as this one. You can always, always, always find Good deals if you go locally, but I wanted this to be something that most people have access to. So I try to stick with just online regular deals, I suppose. But I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Have a good day. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you.